Should you write a new personal statement every time you apply to PA school? Let's say you didn't get in last year and now you're applying again this year. Is it appropriate to completely recycle your personal statement from last year? Maybe add a couple of tweaks about some new things that you did, but mainly keep the content the same, more or less not really change it. That's what this person is asking. He says, in your experience, do you think uh, you have to write a new personal statement if you apply to PA school a second time? So two main concerns with that. First one being kind of less likely, let's say you apply to the same school that you applied last year or some of the same schools and they, whoever's reading an admissions, reading your personal statement, they go, wait a minute, this sounds familiar. Didn't this person apply last year? And then maybe they'll even pull your application from last year, which they probably still have. And then they'll compare it and be like, wait, this person didn't rewrite their personal statement at all. And that might be a bad look. That might make you look lazy. Like, why didn't this person have, one, have a lot more new experiences that they want to write about? And two, why would they just recycle their personal statement? That seems kind of lazy. That's kind of a strike for me. That's a, that's a no-go. That's not a good thing. So that's one concern. Is that going to happen necessarily? You know, maybe not. It's not super likely, but it could happen. So me, being a very conservative, low-risk, tolerance kind of person, I'd probably say, you know, you don't want that to be a risk of that happening. So I'd probably rewrite it from the ground up so it sounds nothing like last year's personal statement in case that might happen. Okay, so that's number one. Two, if you didn't apply, or if you did apply, but you didn't get in last year, there's probably a reason for that. Maybe you don't have enough experience, your grades weren't very good, you didn't have the prereqs, you didn't have enough shadowing or volunteering. For whatever reason, you just didn't get in. So what you should have done this past year, these last 365 days, is you should have made yourself much more competitive. You should have got more experience, more shadowing, maybe a different job with better PCE experience, maybe better grades, maybe you retook some classes. Maybe you did all of that, and then now you should have a new, fresh perspective. You should be a different person this year than you were last year, so you should have a whole bunch of stuff to write about. So if you're a reapplicant and you didn't get in last year, you should be much more competitive this year because you did all that work, you made yourself a better applicant, you have a whole new perspective, and you have a lot more stuff to write about that you can't wait to share with the admissions committee what kind of applicant you are now, why you're so much better, what you did over the past year. You know, you should have a lot to write about. So is it appropriate to recycle your personal statement if you did a whole bunch of work? No, why would you want to? You should be able to write a whole bunch of new stuff and not just tweak it a little bit, but completely write it from the ground up. You're a better person. You're a better applicant. You got way more stuff to share. So you should absolutely rewrite it from the ground up. Uh, if you just want to recycle it, that's just honestly kind of the lazy way to go. And nobody wants a lazy medical provider. So don't do the lazy thing if you're applying to a very competitive program like this. Just my two cents. You know, don't do lazy things. Go the extra mile. Do the extra thing. If you're going to start being lazy now, you're going to be lazy in school which could end up in failure. You're gonna be lazy in practice, which could end up in people getting hurt or worse. You know, So do the extra effort, be a better applicant over the last year, write about it, You know, make a better statement this year than last year. So no, I don't think it's appropriate at all. Just recycle your personal statement from last year, just my two cents. Also, if you happen to be in that position where you're just staring at your blank screen and you have no idea what to write, you got all this stuff in your head and you're like, I got so many experiences, I have so much to share, I really want to be a PA, I just don't know how to put that on paper, get my book. It's $12 paperback, it's $6 on Kindle, and it'll teach you from the very beginning, from the very, very start of your essay, blank screen, nothing but ideas in your head. It'll help you pull them out and write a very good personal statement that's personal to you and why you want to be a PA. If you uh, you search it on Amazon, it's physician assistant school personal statement writing and other PA school application secrets. Or if you just want to go to my TikTok page, uh, there's a video pinned at the top that says well, you need this book. It's that book. Go get it. Or if you're watching this on YouTube or somewhere else, you know, it's all in the information for the video. So get the book if you're having trouble with your personal statement. And also, even if you're not, there's a lot of other good stuff for the application in there that you should absolutely have. So get the book. Let me know if you need help. Best of luck to you.